Let us begin our celebration of fault through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, feel not one... A noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of 
Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also is Christ. For in one Spirit we are all baptized into one body whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons. And we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, from heaven shine forth with your glorious light many sante spiritus many sante spiritus many sante spiritus come father of the poor Sante Spiritus, 
Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you have forgiven are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Um, we are missionaries of the Holy Spirit, so today is our feast. Last week I was invited to a radio program to speak about the Holy Spirit. I celebrated the Mass yesterday and people were entering and someone said, I'm expecting a good preaching today because you're a missionary of the Holy Spirit. It's like, oh, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. As missionaries of the Holy Spirit, we begin our days praying in the chapel. And the first thing we say we know, when we open our mouths is, Come, Holy Spirit, Creator. And then we continue the invitation to the Holy Spirit to come. When I was in formation, we were doing a retreat in the missions in California. Very similar to the missions here in San Antonio. I don't know if you ever visited just all buildings, right? And we went into the chapel of this very old mission, and I said, Come, Holy Spirit, Creator. And everything started shaking. There was an earthquake. <laughs> and so the brothers, instead of continuing the prayer, they actually stopped, and we were looking at the ceiling, right? This is very old building, and then nothing happened. And then I was like, should I continue? And someone said, yes. And so I said again, come Holy Spirit creator. And there was another shaking, mere coincidence. But then the brother said, don't come. <laughs> Let's pray outside this chapel. When I was preparing my homily this week, I said, I can speak about the Holy Spirit or I can invite you to have a moment to pray and to ask for the Holy Spirit to come. And to tell you the truth, I was afraid of the second option because you never know what's going to happen when the Holy Spirit come upon the life of people. You never know. I have seen a lot of things happening when the Holy Spirit come. If you notice for the disciples, they got to know Jesus, they saw miracles, they even saw the resurrection. <laughs> they even saw the resurrection. And yet before Pentecost, they were mere as spectators. Right? They have seen what Jesus have done, they have seen the miracles Jesus have done. And yet, they were mere spectators. It was until the Holy Spirit came that they were willing to risk their lives for Jesus and the Gospel. Very similar to what happens in our church today, right? How many of us are mere spectators of our faith until the Holy Spirit comes and the Holy Spirit changes our life. 
the first experience that I had of the church was in the charismatic renewal. If you've never been in a prayer like that, it's pretty crazy, right? People praying with their hands up and singing and dancing, and I was just not expecting that. Yet I saw this bright light, and I had my personal encounter with God. Since then, I have been involved in the church every single day of my life. My vocation is a consequence of that encounter. I decided to become a priest, not to have children. What the Holy Spirit can do in the life of someone. That's why I'm a little afraid. <laughs> Yet, I think it is necessary. Because to celebrate the day of Pentecost and not pray to the Holy Spirit... What's the point? What will be the point? And I know that many of us don't know how to do it, even though it's a very simple way. Yesterday during the vigil, we heard from the first reading that God will send His Spirit. The young people will have visions that all men and women will have the power of God that you will see miracles. I'm pretty sure of that. I do believe on that. This is a moment in which it will be a little weird because we are not accustomed to this, right? But let's take a moment to pray. Very easy, right? If you want, you can close your eyes, open your hands, like a little child who is asking for a gift. We open our minds and hearts to the presence of the Holy Spirit. We have the desire to receive and to welcome the Spirit of the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, come upon your church. As the first disciples, we are gathered here with open hearts and minds to receive you. Come, Holy Spirit, and change our minds and heart. Give us your fire so that we can change our lives and be witness of the gospel. Come, Holy Spirit, upon those who are suffering from health issues, those who are struggling with pain in their body. Come with your healing power. Come, Holy Spirit, upon our youth, that they will experience your presence, the presence of Christ among them. Come, Holy Spirit, in an older people who have the experience of life, but sometimes they think they are done. Come and give them your life, that they will continue to live until the last breath. Come, Holy Spirit, upon us. Come. Come, Holy Spirit. As simple as that, just inviting him to come. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator. Come. And let us take a moment to breathe and to experience that peace that comes from the Holy Spirit, from his presence. To experience the silence that comes to our hearts. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory and praise forever. 
as you have sent your spirit upon us. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to God for everything that you have done in our life. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes. It is weird, right? <laughs> Never heard this church so silent. May the Holy Spirit give you the grace to experience his presence in your life every single day. And do not be afraid if you see earthquakes and earth and fire is the Spirit changing your life. Please stand. Let us renew our faith, the faith of the whole church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered that and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in our identity as brothers and sisters in Christ and beloved sons and daughters of the Father, we humbly bring our prayers to our loving and generous God. For the church that we may faithfully confess Jesus as Lord and be guided by the Holy Spirit to continue the mission of Christ in our own time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a spirit of wisdom and peace for all government and business leaders, that they may develop policies that promote the common good and dissolve the hatred in human hearts, protect the human family from <laughs> nuclear weapons, and establish a season of peace throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord For a spirit of justice, that the needy, exploited, abused, and victims of war may know freedom, relief from oppression, and their dignity as daughters and sons of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord For our parish and missionaries of the Holy Spirit, that we may be guided by the Holy Spirit to help us recognize and put into practice all the gifts which we have been given so that the body of Christ may be strong in serving the reign of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, in celebration of Memorial Day, for all who have died, particularly those who have served our nation, that we remember them and their sacrifice for the good of our nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for our personal petitions and for those who have asked for our, own, for our prayers and for those whose names are written in our prayer request book and for those who have died recently, Joshua, John, Cardenas, Rodriguez, and Marisa Huerta, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the private intentions of Alan J. Stephan, and the repose of the soul of Tommy Marie Costareno, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, we entrust our prayers <coughs> and intentions. <coughs> Sorry, and intentions to you, and ask that you answer them according to your will, through your Son Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may be revealed to us more abundantly, the hidden mysteries of this sacrifice, and gloriously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another a sign of that peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our communion prayer song in the Blue Gather hymnal is number... of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters who are not able to join us. And we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
O God, who bestowed heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit pour out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a couple of announcements. Brother Almer has one for us. Ushers, if you please come forward and begin the collections, and Brother Elmer will <coughs> explain to us about this collection. Good afternoon. Hopefully most of you know me. I'm Brother Elmer from the Missionaries of the Holy Spirit. I've been assigned this year to do my pastor a year, um, which is almost coming to an end. My next stage of formation will be uh, my theological studies at Oblate. I've been in formation for six years out of 11 or 12, depending on the candidate. So as you can see, it's, it's a while. It takes so many years, right, of formation. And all this is possible thanks to uh, your contribution. So today's collection is the only time that you're going to hear in the year that we are doing this collection. So all the funds that we're going to receive are for formation. This year we have 10 brothers in formation, and uh, we're happy that also this year there's five more joining us. So all this is thanks to you, and this uh, collection is for that. You, since last week, you found some envelopes in your pews, but if for any reason you uh, want to make your a donation later, there's going to be some outside in the table, so you can uh, just put your uh, donation, and there's all the information here already, and just send it by mail. So thank you so much for, so much for your prayers on behalf of my brothers. Thank you. Now we have a uh, member of the Capuchin Clare Sisters of Veracruz. Reconstruyamos porque con los temblores pues se ha averiado un poquito. Traemos a la venta artículos religiosos, empanaditas, buñuelos. Si ustedes gustan apoyarnos, ya sea comprándonos algún artículo o dándonos una donación, se los agradecemos de todo corazón. Si alguno en estos momentos tiene alguna necesidad que quiera que nos unamos a orar por esa necesidad allá afuera tenemos un, una hojita donde pueden anotarlo y nuestra comunidad y nosotras nos unimos a orar por ustedes Dios los bendiga paz y bien Sister also asked me to uh, translate something, so she said a lot, but basically, if you don't, didn't... Opportunity of financial planning. Buenos dias. Um, I'm Carlos Villarreal, and I'm here for... Um, we're going to start these uh, financial workshops over there by the parish hall, Friday, 7 p.m. There are going to be five Fridays, all of them at 7 p.m. Thank you. The goal is 30 million by 2030, and that's why it's called 3030. Uh, a few quick announcements. We still uh, have tickets available for the gala that's going to be this weekend, Saturday, June 3rd. There will be a representative in the foyer if you're interested. I attended the gala for the missionaries of the Holy Spirit, and it was a lot of fun. So please check it out and consider it. Uh, next week we have First Friday and First Saturday services. Friday will be at noon, and the Saturday, First Saturday Mass will be at 9 a.m. A reminder that just as we have the Mother's Day Novena that we celebrate at every liturgy by the envelopes that we have at the altar, we're going to commemorate fathers during the month of June, and you can pick up the, the envelopes in the foyer as well. The offices will be closed on Monday in observance of, in observance of uh, Memorial Day. Today's uh, traveling chalice, we have Luis and, and Angeli Hernandez. 
And as they come forward, if you'll turn to the back of the hymnal, you'll find the prayers of vocation. Thank you for the uh, active Knights of Columbus we have this traveling chalice. And I ask you, sisters and brothers, to pray with us. God in baptism, you call us by name and made us members of the people of the church. Guide us to know the vocation of life and to respond by living your spirit of holiness for your greater glory and for the service of your own people. Raise up dedicated and generous members who will serve their lives as women and men, religious, priests, deacons, married or single. Send your Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen us so we may serve your people. Follow the example of your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we offer this prayer. Amen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do we have any first-time visitors here at St. Luke? Ever been here before? We all belong. We all belong. Okay. Do we have anyone celebrating an anniversary or a birthday this week or last week? An anniversary here? How many years? Seven years. Congratulations. Birthday here. One, two, three, four birthdays over here on this side. An anniversary? 20 years. Congratulations. And a birthday. Double dipping. And Ed Pina. Birthday. Pray with me, brothers and sisters. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your servants who recall today the gifts of their birth and their anniversary and rejoice in their, your gifts of life, love, family, and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many, many happy years of all, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Congratulations. Please stand and bow your head for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit of the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing, and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appear above the disciples powerful, powerfully cleanse your heart from every evil and pervade them with his purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is in it. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our final hymn of praise in the blue hymnal is number 615. 615. Holy God, we praise thy name. We'll sing verse 1 and 4 of 615. 